Are we in focus? I'm gonna close that door. Hey, so it's been a while since I've made a video. We've been kind of busy this past couple weeks. Andrew's brother got married, so we've been in California doing family stuff, but we're back. And I don't know if it's just me. I don't think it's just me. I highly doubt I'm alone in this, but our house kind of turns into a disaster uh, when we are getting ready to leave for a trip because we're so focused on getting everything ready to go and packing and blah, 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 that cleaning up the house kind of gets pushed to the side. I mean, I always do like the basics, like make sure the trash is taken out and the dishwasher has been run through and we're caught up on laundry and all that just because I don't like leaving stuff like that. Um, just sitting there when we leave for a trip because that's disgusting. But everything else is kind of a wreck. Nothing is in its home. Home. You know what I'm saying? Like where it's supposed to be. You all seem to like it when I did a video about cleaning out Andrew's car. So today I thought it would be fun to make a video about cleaning my disaster of an apartment. So that's what we're going to do today. It's just going to be a time lapse. I, it's a Saturday e evening. Yeah, it's like seven o'clock at night on a Saturday. And I've spent the day just running errands and going to the gym. So I just look like this. My skin has been breaking out a lot lately and it's just been very frustrating. So I took, so on the weekends I've been trying to give my skin a break. So that explains why this hot mess is on display today. So let's just get right into it, shall we? So bear with me, I literally haven't talked to anyone all day, and I'm gonna try to do this voiceover in one take. So here goes nothing. I always like to start by cleaning my kitchen because I find that I use this room probably the most often in the house, so I like to clean it first. Um, I always start with doing any dirty dishes that are lying around and putting away anything that is not in its home. I always hand wash the dishes that aren't dishwasher safe and then everything else, if I have room in the dishwasher, I'll just throw it in there and load it up. I had to go find my favorite towel to dry stuff off. I was running low on clean towels that day, so I had to go find one. Please ignore the weird dancing throughout this video. I don't know. I always clean the sink after I'm done cleaning dishes because I hate, hate dirty messes. Like I don't mind if things aren't in its place, like that's not dirty, but like, you know what I mean? If it's dirty, I can't do that. So I always make sure my sink is thoroughly scrubbed because I do not want food and gunk building up in the kitchen. Yuck. Here's the fun part about not having a nozzle that like can like pull out from the faucet. I have to like splash the water around to rinse off the soap. And then I usually wipe the rest down with a rag or a paper towel. Again, I was running low on rags, so I use probably way too many paper towels when cleaning my kitchen. I'm really sorry. Uh, I don't normally use as many paper towels. You just, you use what you have, okay? Next, I like to clean my stove top. I try to do this probably about once a week. It, I used to do it after like every time we cooked, but it kind of just got tedious and I got out of habit of doing it. So once a week, we'll do the trick. We don't make too big of a mess, so it's usually pretty easy to clean. Again, way too many paper towels. Look at that. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Ugh. 
And then I'll give it another spray just to like really make sure it's all wiped down and there's no grease lingering. Because sometimes you just don't get it all with that first scrub. And then there's a few spots that like stuff really just wasn't coming off so I just sprayed those spots and really, really, you know, scrubbed them. How many times am I going to say the word scrub in this video? Someone count. Next I like to um, wipe down the, I don't know what, it, what they're called, the little grates that are on top of the stove where we actually put our pots. Those get a little greasy sometimes so I just like to make sure they're nice and wiped down. I'll also wipe down the front of my stove. Again, I just, when I clean my kitchen, I really like to like deep clean it. Um, so I wipe down all the fronts of all the appliances. I'll wipe down all the countertops, the cabinets, just because I don't like it when stuff builds up and things get sticky and you just, it's just good to get in the habit of just wiping stuff down every week. So here's me cleaning my countertops. I wipe these down daily though. This isn't a once a week thing. This is a daily routine. If we cook, I wipe them down. This is me wiping down my dishwasher. And it looks like I'm talking to myself, but I'm pretty sure I'm just chewing gum. Maybe talking to myself. I also make sure I wipe down my microwave super well because it's right above the stove, so it is not uncommon for stuff to get splattered up there, so I try to wipe that down just as well as I do my stove. I also like to wipe down my fridge. We have stainless steel appliances in this apartment, and you know, I thought they would show smudges a lot more than they actually do. They hide dirt pretty well. Here's me sweeping with my little tiny broom. I didn't think this through when I bought our broom and it's really short so this is how I always have to sweep like bent over like that. <laughs> My back hurt. I bought it because it came with the little dust pan thing with the little stick on it and I thought that was so fancy but I didn't think it through of like how short that broom is. Next I always mop after I sweep just to thoroughly clean those floors. I cleaned both of our bathrooms, but I am just going to show you guys how I cleaned our second bathroom. This bathroom doesn't get used this much because it is our second bathroom. I clean our bathrooms weekly though. The second bathroom I'll go like every other week because again, it doesn't really get used that often. But our bathroom, I always make sure I stay on top of that. I feel like showing you how I clean my toilet is a very weird thing to show, but you know, everyone cleans their toilets, so I'm including this because I don't, also don't want you guys thinking that I skip cleaning my toilet, so I just have to include it either way. I also will wipe down our sink and our mirrors and also the bathroom countertops.
Normally part of my routine is I would switch out all the towels and washcloths and stuff, but again, this is our guest bathroom, so they don't really get used ever. All the towels in there are clean and fresh for when we have people come over, so I just make sure those are all folded and looking nice. I'm not going to bother cleaning the shower though because it doesn't get used. Next, I cleaned our living room. I like to take all the pillows off the couch and like fluff all the cushions and make sure all the seat cushions are pushed in. And then I'll go through and fluff over all of our pillows and arrange them on a couch I like. Please, please ignore the weird dancing. I don't even remember what song was on, but apparently I was really having a good time. I guess anything to keep myself entertained while I clean. I like to go through and fold all of our blankets nice and tidy. Something about a nicely folded blanket is so satisfying to me. You can't see, but I'm putting them on our little ottoman that we have in front of our couch. You'll see that in a second. I also have this little crate where I keep extra pillows and blankets. They're just nice to have. And we also have just so many laptop chargers and Andrew has so many bags, so I put those back in his office. I was walking to put stuff away in Andrew's like office and I stepped on the smallest piece of like plastic or cut fishing line or something but it literally I thought I stepped on a fishing hook. I don't know if you guys remember but Andrew is a fly fisherman so I always just assume it's a fishing hook but look how much my foot is bleeding from that. I don't even know. Yeah, you can't see it. It is so small. It's like barely like that big. Oh my gosh, it hurts so bad. Intermission. I'm back. I got the bleeding to stop. Now let's finish cleaning up this mess. All right, let's do a quick little pan around the room, shall we? Ignore the trash in the corner because it is raining outside, so I don't really want to take it out, but I will take it out in the morning. Wow, wow, wow! Not bad if I do say so myself. Oh my gosh, also this is very important. It is officially fall because I can have my screen door open and my fireplace going and my air conditioning won't kick on. Delightful. Also a little plant update. I moved this one inside and it immediately perked up. And then I have the other one in the little corner and he's doing pretty good too. And over here, this is the one that I'm very excited about. This little, this little guy, he's new. He just sprouted like a few weeks ago. Look how fast he's growing. Wow, that's all the cleaning I'm doing today. Our bedroom probably could use some cleaning, but that's just gonna have to wait for another day because I am over it for today. I have some videos coming up that I'm very excited for, so stay tuned for those. And if you made it to this point in this video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. It means more to me than you know. And I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, bye.